Hello and welcome to the Age of Steam Roundhouse Museum in Sugar Creek, Ohio. This facility houses the steam locomotive collection of Jerry Joe Jacobson. The Jerry and Laura Jacobson Foundation Incorporated was established by Jerry and his wife Laura to care for the restoration and preservation of the collection. My name is Pete Paremba. I am the executive director of the foundation. I had worked for Jerry on his railroads and had been a longtime friend of Jerry and his family. The foundation is a 501c3 nonprofit that operates public and private tours of the roundhouse, back shop, and some of the adjacent sports facilities. Many of the current employees and volunteers at the roundhouse also enjoy similar relationships with Jerry and his railroads. After selling his railroads and retiring, Jerry set his sights on fulfilling his dream of establishing this facility. He acquired these 34 acres of land on which to locate his 115-foot turntable, construct the surrounding 18-stall roundhouse, and two-bay back shop. Being a recreation of a typical steam locomotive servicing facility, the property also includes a wooden water tank, connected standpipes, coal loader, ash pit, storehouse, and about two miles of storage and servicing trackage. A railroad passenger depot serves as the base for tours, providing space for ticketing, gift shop, tour introductions. It also houses our administrative offices and an exhibit area. A 30,000 square foot car shed covers four storage tracks, providing shelter for an additional 1,800 feet of rolling stock. The preserved steam locomotive collection includes more than 20 locomotives in varying stages of restoration. Many are fully equipped and in running condition, once serving on Jerry's railroads in excursion service and sometimes pulling freight trains. Others are preserved as unique examples of the age of steam. The collection also contains several diesel electric locomotives, passenger cars, cabooses, and vintage freight cars. Jerry originally constructed the roundhouse for his private use during his lifetime. He and Laura established the foundation to care for and share the collection for generations to come. Jerry's intent all along was to donate his collection and roundhouse to the foundation so that they would be shared with the public. Sharing with the public takes many forms. During the spring, summer, and fall, regular public tours are held Thursday through Saturday. Group, school, and homeschool tours can be arranged for Tuesday through Saturday. Family tours, which are geared toward our younger visitors and their families, are scheduled throughout the regular tour season. Special events and specialty tours are held on a semi-regular basis throughout the entire year. Pre-sale tickets can be obtained through the website, and most public tours can accommodate some walk-in visitors. The most up-to-date information for tours, events, and donations can be found on our website, www.ageofsteamroundhouse.org, or by calling 330-852-4676. Sign up for our email updates and learn the latest news about the happenings at the Roundhouse. The restoration and preservation work today is done by a highly specialized group of dedicated employees and volunteers that work daily on this historic equipment. Tim Spazzato leads and directs the efforts today, much as he has for the past 30 years. Hi, my name is Tim Spazzato. I'm the Chief Mechanical Officer here at Age of Steam Roundhouse. I've had the privilege of working with Jerry Jacobson for, well, probably a little over 33 years now. We've met mainly through steam train operations over the years at various locations. I went on to work with railroads and uh, Jerry was doing his thing, but we always seemed to get back somewhere you know, with each other uh, involving a steam engine. I w was fortunate enough to help him amass the collection of steam locomotives that we have here today. As you look around the roundhouse, we're just cluttered with artifacts of what you might find in railroad shops and railroad roundhouses. Moving on, after Jerry sold the railroad, he said, Tim, we're gonna start a new adventure. So. He took a handful of us and we've come up here to Sugar Creek where he created the, the roundhouse here. He said he loved just seeing steam engines in roundhouses. And he says, Tim, someday we're going to have a roundhouse. It was a, a big battle, I guess, for him, uh, trying to weigh out what it would take to build something like this and yet keep a railroad going. And he managed to figure that out when he sold the Ohio Central Railroad and that gave him the green light to build this great facility. Jerry was fortunate to have friends and colleagues along the way to help foster his dream and provide support. Growing up in Cuyahoga Falls, Jerry had Mike Costell to share their mutual appreciation of steam locomotives running out on the B&O main line. Mike continues to support the efforts at the Roundhouse as a volunteer, serving in several capacities. 
I met Jerry Jacobson when we were both in seventh grade. Uh, we went through uh, school at Cauga Falls High School graduating together. We both went in the service, kind of lost track for a while, but we got together then in the, in the 90s and he invited me to come down and work on one of the trains. Spent about, oh, every other couple weeks uh, going over to the train yard and, and working on the engines and whatever they had to do. And uh, when he retired, we came up here to Sugar Creek where his uh, rail empire got deposited in, in the new roundhouse. And since then, I've been coming here about one day a week doing whatever is asked, kind of paying tribute to my old buddy who passed a few years ago. I still think I owe him something because uh, he took me a lot of places. While it is tremendously important to have many people involved in the Roundhouse who are personally connected with Jerry, this Age of Steam experience continues to attract new faces and hands to the cause. There are endless opportunities to volunteer. We have folks who volunteer on tours here at the Roundhouse, far away online with computer-based functions, and special events, and in the back shop. Scott Slauson came as a visitor on a tour one Saturday, returned on Friday as a volunteer, then again the next day on a regular tour and the same evening for a lantern tour. He returned again to volunteer on Monday and stayed. He was hooked. I came to the Roundhouse here on a tour, and I was, as soon as I pulled into the drive, I was blown away. The building itself, the locomotives, the history here, everything about it. So I was like, I need to be a part of this. I definitely need to be a part of this. And I had heard that they um, have volunteers work here. Of course, volunteers help with tours, and volunteers help in the back shop. And the back shop was the area I wanted to be in. I wanted to get my hands on these machines. I wanted to help restore them, help preserve them. I started, it was, let's see, exactly seven weeks ago today. And I've been working every day pretty much full time as a volunteer and loving every bit of it. Restoring history here, preserving history here. Jerry and Laura provided this gift to experience the age of steam at this roundhouse to everyone of all ages and for generations to come. Whether you're passionate for steam locomotives or love museums, the experience will leave you in awe of the history of steam locomotives and the collection. It can be experienced by taking a tour, attending a special event, learning with family, photographing along with other steam locomotive fans, or getting hands-on with this historic collection in the back shop or out in the yard. Come as a visitor, stay as a volunteer, or admire online. <laughs>